Happy Sunday, everyone. I took a solo trip to Borneo to go scuba diving and get my certification. I am so excited to tell you guys all about it. So let's go. We're Chris and Steve, an early retired couple who sold everything to travel the world full time. We share our nomad life, hikes, and vegan eats. Grab our book, Two Carry-Ons and a Plan, on Amazon and follow us on social. Subscribe to catch our video every Sunday. Well, our lights are switched this week, so we are still in Kuala Lumpur, and we're going to be here for another week. We're going to be in Malaysia, though, for a couple more weeks, but last week, Steve and I broke up. What? <laughs> well, we didn't break up. We actually went our separate ways for the week. I had to run over to Dublin to check in on our daughter. She needed just some mom time, and I needed some daughter time, so Steve was like, if they're going to go away, I'm going to go play. So what you go do? I went scuba diving and got my open water certification in Borneo. Uh, and uh, it was just a, an amazing adventure. And Borneo is in Malaysia, right? Borneo is in Malaysia. There's actually three countries on the island of Borneo. So we went from Kuala Lumpur <laughs> to Kota Kinabalu. And that was a flight, right? And that was a flight. Okay. And why, why did you go there? What did you do? <laughs> so... Uh, there's a number of reasons that I wanted to get my scuba certification or I wanted to go scuba diving. Uh, first, we have decided that, you know, we've gotten this, this lifelong uh, full-time travel adventure and we wanted to add a little bit more adventure uh, into our lives. So that was one of the goals that I had, something that I really never had on my radar, but something that was going to be, you know, really exciting for me uh, to accomplish. I set this as a goal, as a New Year's resolution, and as I figured we're here in Southeast Asia, one of the best scuba diving places in the entire world. Uh, this is a, a better, as good a place as any, and it's really affordable here. Uh, so, it, so that's why you picked going over to Borneo. Did you pick a particular scuba dive center? Well, you know, I did. I actually started with uh, a dive uh, outfit called Scuba Junkie in Sipadan. It was actually on the Mabul Island. And Sipadan is known as being one of the top dive spots in the entire world. Uh, but it's a little bit hard to get to, and it's really quite remote. So uh, I was a little bit nervous uh, about my first time ever uh, putting on a wetsuit and putting on a tank and, and a snorkel at, or a, a regulator and uh, jumping into the water and going someplace that was really remote and really hard to get to. I can't even so, imagine you doing it because, you know, we go snorkeling and you're always kind of like a little bit frightened about even putting the mask on and the snorkel on. So I'm really surprised. I, I can't wait to hear more about what you did. Yeah. So anyway, so then I found out that uh, Scuba Junkie had another location that was in Kota Kinabalu, which is really easy to get to from Kuala Lumpur. It's a fairly popular uh, city there, and there's a lot of things to do. And the marine park is just right off the coast, so it's, it's really easy to get to. And when I contacted them, I you know, asked them about you know, what you know, the dates that I had that I was available to take the course, you know, yes, they had that available on those dates. They could definitely, you know, fit me in. And it just... Are you going to tell us how much it costs at the end of the video? At the end of the video, I'm going to so tell stay you... Stay tuned. Oh. And subscribe. <laughs> i you all about the yeah. cost. Yeah. And also, you're going to see me take the plunge. So uh, it's going to be, uh, yeah, definitely stay, stay tuned for that. Yeah, and you'll want to like, you'll want to give us a like when Steve takes the plunge, because I'm going to give it a like, too. <laughs> So what, so what did you like about Scuba Junkie? You said that they're conveniently located. Yeah. What, did they have a good certification program? What is certification? Great location. So the uh, PADI certification, so PADI stands, stands for Professional Association of Diving Instructors. That is the, the world renowned and the standard for uh, scuba certification. And so that was really important to me. And uh, so the, uh, the scuba certification really involves three parts. So the first part is the classroom, and that's just the theory. And in, for the classroom part, I wanted to be there with an instructor. There's an option to do it online. I wanted to be there with the instructor so I could ask questions and, and get questions answered and really you know, have that classroom experience. And then the second part are the confined dives, and those are dives that are done in shallow water. That sounds scary. Know, at, well, they're not, you're not like you're confined. <laughs> okay. You're not like tied up. Um, <laughs> You're in a protected, confined area, so you're safe. 
And you can practice all the skills that you learned in the theory portion of it to add to your safety and to add to your understanding in a very, you know, confined, in a, in a close area with your instructor right with you. And in, in, in a lot of dive centers do this in a swimming pool. We were actually in the ocean and, you know, on, you know, shallow on our knees, you know, just, you know, under the water. And then, so, I'm sorry, and the last part of the, of the certification is actually going out into the open water and going down to about 18 feet, that, or 18 meters, that's about 60 feet down and doing a number of dives. Um, we, again, you practice all the things that you learned. Huh? Were there any sharks? I did not see any sharks. I wanted any, to. Any like sea serpents? Uh, there was a uh, moray eel that I saw. So really? It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, day three of the course, this is day two of actual diving. And uh, we got our first dive in this morning and I feel so much more relaxed and at ease and able to breathe under the water and do all of the uh, seemingly crazy but very important skills that we're, uh, that we're learning here on uh, how to like take off all your equipment underwater, what if you have to make an emergency ascent from, uh, from under the water and go up to the top without getting the bends, which is uh, kind of important, uh, really important. And uh, it's just, uh, just, having, just having a ball. It started out this morning uh, raining and you can see the skies have cleared up and it's beautiful and uh, we're ready for uh, dive number two today. Uh, I guess this will be our one, two, three, four, uh, fifth uh, dive, and this will be another open water dive where we're going to go pretty deep, uh, and I'll tell you more about it in a few minutes. Well, it's kind of, I don't know, I used to think that maybe it was too much money and too much effort to learn how to scuba and snorkel wasn't up, but to see a more ale, that would be, that would be pretty cool. Um, and so how many total hours was the train? You had, wow. what? It was three entire days, three okay. full days from eight in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think you're getting, we've got some footage of you getting ready to uh, to go snorkel or go, go scuba diving. I don't even know what that involves. So um, let's cut to that and, and you can tell us all about it. Okay. All right. So here we are in the boat and uh, we're about to take our second dive of the last day, our fun dive day. So at this point, I'm already PADI open water certified. So the, uh, the guides are, are helping me, but I'm pretty much uh, assume, they assuming that I uh, know what I need to do to get ready. Um, so Noel, my drive instructor, is uh, helping me with my gear, and I think he's uh, about to go find my uh, fins for me, and it gets me set up with those. There he goes, and now he's gonna get ready himself. Uh, he's putting his uh, BCD on, his, his uh, equipment and getting that strapped on and getting ready. He's talking to us while he's doing that, giving us some last minute instructions, telling us what he's going to do, what we're supposed to do. So I'm kind of listening to him. And you can see the other people on the boat aren't really like jumping up and down to get ready either, you know. So I don't want to be like super, you know, enthusiastic to uh, to get into the water, but I guess I do. So uh, Noel is, uh, is finishing putting on his gear and uh, checking out his equipment and talking to us. And then uh, he is going to uh, put his fins on and he's going to get ready to, to do his back roll. I'm putting on my mask now. And we're watching Noel. Giving the thumbs up. Putting in his regulator. Not yet. <laughs> there he goes. And he's off the side, off the back roll. Where is he? There he is, pops his head up. All right, now it's my turn, I'm ready. Now remember this is about 50 pounds of equipment that I've got on my back. So I'm getting a little bit of assistance to get up on the edge and I'm wearing fins. All right, so I got something to hold on to, something to get up on the back there. And uh, I'm going to give the OK sign, and that's the, uh, the universal sign for uh, in scuba that says, I'm OK, or are you OK, or I'm ready. And I'm going to be waiting for the signal from the uh, captain to let me know that it's clear, that I can do my back roll. 
and then uh, holding on, and I go in. And there I go, doing the back roll into the water. I come on up. I'm going to put some air into my BCD, which is my buoyancy control device. And a little tap on the head is my hand signal to let the, know, let the captain know that I'm okay. And we're done. We're in. We're ready to go. Oh my God, I never thought I would see you do with a barrel roll off the back of a boat. I mean, you won't even jump in like with your flippers on. So, wow, good. I'm so proud of you. They're called fins. They're not oh. called flippers. You got to get the go. terminology right. Look at yeah. you. Wow. So, uh, did you have fun? I had a ball. I had a ball. Uh, the uh, Probably the most amazing thing that in my experience when I was, was under the water when I was diving was this massive school of bright yellow fish just out of thousands of fish that just kind of like came came at me and then it just like just they just went you know around me as if you know like who's this guy you know here and anyways it's just like this bright color of sea of literally a sea of fish uh wrapping around you got schooled me. and <laughs> I guess I got I got schooled um uh, but there's so, so much, so many fish, so many varieties of fish, so many varieties of coral, uh, beautiful colors, just amazing varieties. And the other, and the other thing that, was, that just blew me away was the, uh, the giant clams that are just like, like, again, just massive, this bigger than I was. And they're living and breathing, you know, organisms. It's not like you see this clamshell in you know, in the store, it's not <laughs> like that. Line. They're really, exactly, they're really alive and they're huge. I wonder how just, big a pearl is in a big, in a big clam like that. I could stick my hand and <laughs> find out, but I'm not going to do that. So what was the best part about learning how to scuba dive? Uh, you know, I have to say a little bit about uh, Scuba Junkie. Uh, they were just an amazing... Outfit. And by the way, Scuba Junkie is not giving us any promo here. No, just Steve no. really led the company and he just wants to make sure if you guys want to go scuba dive, he's recommending scuba junkie, right? Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and really actually, you know, give them credit for some of the shots that we're seeing here of the underwater shots uh, are, are all uh, giving credit to scuba junkie, but the instructors uh, and, uh, were amazing. My instructor's name was Noel. He was fantastic. He was so patient with me because there were a couple of skills that, you know, were a little bit challenging uh, to get right. And uh, he was very patient with me, with me the whole time through this, uh, the theory section as well as the combined or the, uh, uh, the dives. And All right, so just, let, let me just, let me point out a few things. Just for our viewers who may be wondering if they want to learn how to scuba dive and what, and maybe they're thinking they have some limitations or whatever, but you're not 25. <laughs> you're not necessarily, um, you don't have the best vision necessarily, you don't have the best hearing necessarily, and you're, you're handsome and you're fantastic, and you're a great lover in bed, but <laughs> <laughs> you might not be a young, young sweet thing. So how did you feel with the other group, and did you feel like you were too old, or, too, or you were too not fit enough, or like how did you feel you matched up with, with the skills that were necessary for you? Yeah, well, like, there was definitely a wide variety of, of other uh, divers that, that were with me. There were two other students that were in my class, and they were in their mid-20s. And uh, I felt certainly the oldest one there, uh, but I felt fit enough to do everything that I wanted to do. There was nothing that I couldn't do. Uh, even, you know, I have to say the, uh, the, the, the weight of the equipment was, you know, getting on and off the boat. Was a little stressful. How much, how much um, was your total weight? Do you think? It's about fifty pounds wow. of equipment. Once you get everything on, you actually wear a weight belt. I was wearing a. So that'd be about twenty five k of stuff, right? Fifty pounds would be about twenty five k. Sure. Yeah. Um, I was wearing a five k belt, um, just the belt wow. <laughs> before wow. I even put the, the the scuba equipment on. Wow. Um, so yeah, so it, it's. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, and, but know, one, one of the things, though, in, to, in order to get the certification, you do have to be able to uh, swim 200 meters um, unassisted, just, you know, to be able to swim that. Do you have to That's, do, like, freestyle, or can you, you do can, doggy, you can doggy kinda, battle? Yeah, you can kind of <laughs> swim it any way, any way you want. That'd be so, me. So, yeah. Uh, 
Um, I wanted to ask you, um, oh, I want to point out that, so I, while I was in Dublin, Steve would call me at the end of the day, or we had like a 14 hour time change, but we would catch up and he would be so tired. You were physically like exhausted at the end of the day. It definitely, it takes a lot out of you. And I think part of that is that I was new to it. Uh, I was, you know, I was nervous, uh, probably wasn't breathing as efficiently as I could. I learned to do that um, more efficiently as the days and the, and the dives went on. And uh, yeah, really, you know, really tired. <laughs> it takes a lot out of you. <laughs> but just pointing out, Steve is not an instructor. He's not trying to give you, you know, scuba instruction lessons. He's just trying to, if you're thinking about learning how to scuba dive, Steve wants to be a role model for you to go out and do it and to give you a place to do it. So first of all, give us a subscribe while we're talking. Give us a like. We need some likes. We don't feel like we're loved very much. So give us some likes. Give Steve some comments. Give him some high fives for being a 62-year-old brand new diver in the, in the scuba world. But the big question I know everybody's wanting to know is how much did it all cost? And, and, to, and if you can compare it to the U.S. or someplace else that you might know, know would be some cost, that would be great. Well, you know, I really don't have much to compare it to, but when I tell you the numbers, you can just, you know, judge for yourself to determine whether this is affordable or not. Uh, my entire trip, five nights, including the scuba certification, food, hotel, round trip flights from Kuala Lumpur was $677 was uh, a total. So what a little I paid more than $100 a day. Uh, a little bit more than $100 a day. About half of that was the actual scuba certification. And one of the reasons that I chose Scuba Junkie was because after the three days uh, scuba uh, certification course, you get an extra day for only like another 50 US dollars, you get an extra day of diving, which is like amazing, it's fantastic. Because by then I knew what I was doing, it was really comfortable. So um, about half of that was the, uh, the certification. So 349 was the certification, right? Right, okay. right. Uh, flights uh, round trip from Kuala Lumpur was $141. Uh, my hotel, which was amazing, was actually a pretty nice room for $136 for five nights. And my total food and miscellaneous was $51. Wow. Um, Malaysia is a very affordable place. Uh, and uh, Kota Kinabalu is just as, as affordable. And it's really uh, an incredible place to, uh, to do your diving. All right. Yeah. Well, um, I was busy just drinking some Guinness in Dublin and enjoying 32 degree. The first time I'd seen my breath in like two years, it was cold <laughs> and I had a scarf on and a jacket and stuff. And you're busy scuba diving, but I got to see our daughter. So that's a win-win yeah. too. Anyway, that is uh, our how we got divorced and got back together again. <laughs> we, <don't divorce. laughs> no, we didn't get divorced. We no. spent a few days apart. We spent a few days apart. So in a life where we are 365, 24-7 together every day, uh, it was actually nice that we got a chance to go and do some things on our own and get to enjoy a week enjoying things that we like. Um, I didn't tell you I'm already planning my next trip in two weeks, so yay! I'm going to do it again. Yay, yay, yay. And this time I'm going to go to that remote island and uh, go to the, one of the top diving spots in the world. Yeah, so um, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, what? Spoiler. <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> We're going to separate again in a couple of weeks. What am I going to do while Steve is scuba diving? We're going to tell you that in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, we're finishing up here in Kuala Lumpur. Ask us some questions. Ask Steve about scuba diving. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. And tell your friends. And oh, by the way, in the description is all the information about Scuba Junkie. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week. Peace.